Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. This time I'm kind of following up on my previous question where I asked everyone what was, in your opinion, the worst brewery names out there. And I listed off some of the ones locally. Uh, Belching Beaver, Wet and Reckless, and Booze Brothers. And so I want to follow that up based on some of your comments about how the brewery name affects whether or not you drink their beer or not. And so I want to pose that question out to you. Does the brewery name matter when it comes to trying their beer, especially if you've never had the beer before? And maybe you've never heard anything about that brewery. Does that affect your choice in, in what you buy? And I would say for me it doesn't exactly unless there's something else going on with the owner, which kind of affects my take on, say, like a brewery like Wet and Reckless where I heard the owner's just, not, not, not the best person apparently. I don't know. I've heard some weird things, uh, through the newsletters they put out. So I'm not really interested in trying any of their beers. However, when it comes to Belching Beaver, I was hearing really good things about the beers. Went, checked out the brewery. I've been to both the Vista location a couple times and even their location down in North Park. And they make really good beers. They make, as soon as they open, they're producing great beers. The brewer there's very good brewer. Knows how to cleanly ferment beers, and they make some great stuff. And so I have no problem buying their beers, even though I don't really care for the name. So in that instance, eh, you know, it doesn't bother me. So the the names, for the most part, not, isn't going to bother me unless there's something go else going on as far as, like, the ownership or the, the brewer for the company. So I want to go through a lot of your comments uh, for what you thought were some of the worst names. And Clown Shoes is a brewery that came up a lot. A lot of people d hate the name Clown Shoes. I think they make some pretty pretty good beers. And so I'm wondering for the, a lot of you that said Clown Shoes, do you like their beers but hate the name? Or do you hate the name so much that you don't try their stuff? So I'd be curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. And there were some other really bad ones like Ass Kisser Brewing and... Uh, some really well a lot of people didn't like the fact a lot of the brewery names were really generic and uninspired and yeah i can kind of see that it's probably hard for a lot of these breweries to come up with new names but let's see uh ask clown brewing company that was another terrible one um you know some some of the people came up with brewery names but you know it's based on location or you know like dogfish head was named after a, a place i believe up in maine that sam went to when he was a kid so i mean i don't have a problem with like say dogfish head this actual location but uh some people uh didn't like hopping frog i don't have a problem with that that's um fine with me uh horny goat brewing um yeah, that's kind of cheesy. Cheesy. Apparently, there was a, a nanoberry called Donkey Punch, and then they changed it to like Wild Donkey. So that's just absolutely terrible. Uh, what else? Someone didn't like Jolly Pumpkin, and they, you kind of think about it. I heard they've been around a while, so you kind of think of like, yeah, it's kind of an odd name, weird name, uh, especially for a brewery what they're what they're brewing. Jolly Pumpkin's kind of definitely out there. Um. Yeah, Beer by Design Brewery. That's kind of a just kind of cheesy name. So I don't know. You guys listed a lot of one, a lot of um, bad brewing brewery names uh, that I had not heard of. So that was kind of fun to see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, does the name affect your perception of the beers or whether or not you try that brewery's beers? Uh, let me know. It's gonna wrap it up for this time. Cheers.